These galaxies, imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope, are among the most remote objects we can see. The light from the most distant of these galaxies has taken 10 to 12 billion years to reach us. But we can detect light that was emitted even further back in time, back to a time before any galaxies existed, back to the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. Scientists had predicted that light from the early universe would no longer be visible to the naked eye. On its immense journey to Earth, the light would gradually lose most of its energy as our universe cooled and expanded. The once visible light would be shifted to a less energetic form of light known as radio waves. In 1965, this light was discovered by accident by astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. Aiming their large detector at the sky, they were surprised to find a source of radio waves that seemed to be coming uniformly from every direction. They had inadvertently found light from the beginning of our universe. In 1989, NASA launched the Cosmic Background Explorer to capture the first image of this ancient light. This spacecraft carefully measured the spectrum of the light for more than a year. Here is the image that this spacecraft produced. The light had exactly the properties that one would expect for light emitted by very hot matter nearly 14 billion years ago. Nature has given us a window on our origins, revealing a nearly featureless, forbidding early universe. Contrary to popular belief, the Big Bang took place everywhere in space. As a result, the afterglow of the Big Bang still fills our universe and comes to us continuously from all directions. So if we could see it with the naked eye, it would fill the entire sky. It would be a constant reminder that our universe was once a very different place from the one we inhabit today.